it's 7.23. My shift starts at 7.30. I usually sit in my car because I don't like going in there when it's crowded like that. Like, there's a lot of people clocking in and going through the security check. So, I like to just sit in my car for a little bit and just unwind. <laughs> because it is going to be a long day. I work 10 hours, so... I need all the time of peace that I can get. It's like really loud in there. And sometimes it makes my ears hurt. So all right, so we're gonna get my day started. This is what it looks like. Make sure my car is locked. So at the beginning of our shifts, we have to put on gloves. It's mandatory. You get two gloves per week, like two sets of gloves. There's a machine that spits out the gloves with your badge, your skin, and it comes out. It's for safety reasons. So Amazon's really big on safety. So we're not allowed to start working without it. And if they see you without the glove, they're going to remind you have to wear gloves. Um, each tote has items that go into one individual bag. I only pack single orders, so basically what you're seeing is I scan the item, it prints a shipping label, then it stamps the bag. Um, once it goes down, it seals the bag shut, and then after it seals the bag shut, there's like a little conveyor belt inside the machine that shoots it onto the bigger conveyor belt. And then it goes to the second floor to ship to whichever part of the country that it's going to be shipped.
I'm so sleeping. I don't worry. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just today. I'm not doing that again. I'm too tired. Then they keep me on that machine all day. I really get to pack the um I really get to pack the regular uh boxes. I'm always at uh smart pack. get off work. I'm gonna pick my baby up and lay my ass in the bed. I know my nails need to be done. <sighs> I'm so tired. On a good day, I can eat the whole thing. Like, two in the morning, two in the middle of the day, and two on my last break. Because on my first lunch, I usually have a meal, so there's no need to really snack. I'll be too full. show you guys the last packing method this is the cw 1000 or 100 i can't remember the exact name but basically this is like the fastest packing method we have i think the rate for this machine is 650 an hour and like where i am this is like 5.5 but basically it makes the boxes like as you can see it's cutting the box based on the shape and the weight of the item like the machine is so smart technology is so crazy but yeah it builds the box <clears throat> and it goes straight down the line and as you can see as it's going it's like cutting the box i thought this was super cool they put me on this box before i mean sorry this machine but mm -mm. it's too it's too much work i rather do what i do because you really can't be on your phone at all since it's like very important to make sure that they're getting the packages out on this one as you can see like the packages are right behind each other
stop, we can't work. So the machine will automatically stop also, so we have to wait for it to come back up. Okay, so. Usually this happens like something gets stuck on the second floor or like the conveyor belt rips, they staple it back together. It can be for like 30 seconds, 45 minutes. One time it was down for like three hours when we first came in to work. 